Hey there. So in this video I'll show you how to install TeamChatWiz for your Slack team in about 10 minutes. So all you need to do is scroll down until you get to the link to the repository. Open this in a new tab. And here you'll find all the information you need in this readme file. We're going to need to do a couple of things. First we need to create a new Slack app, which we can do in this link. We open this in a new tab and we are going to run this on Heroku. So if you happen to have an own server you can also deploy this on your own server. This is not covered in this tutorial but we will just show you how to run this on Heroku. Before we get started in Heroku we will navigate to the tab we just opened to create a new Slack app which is custom built for your team. So let's put in Team chat with test. And I will do this for my other team. There's a short description. And we'll just copy paste this in here. This will be it for creating the app. For integrating this into your Slack team, we will need the client ID and the client secret. You can copy paste this right now. And then you go back and deploy this on Heroku. Click this, open it in a new tab. If you don't have a Heroku account, you'll be asked to create one. I already set mine up, so I will be logged right in. So the app name will be Team Chat Biz test that's what we just had since I'm located in Europe I'll choose Europe our URL let's just stick with this test so here's where the magic happens we will need your slack client ID which we just copy pasted from the app credentials of the slack integration paste it into the Heroku tab and then we will need the Slack client secret. This can also be copied out of the app credentials. Paste it in here. If you want to have a double security layer on your visualizations, we can put a authentication in here and you know, just think of a cool username and a password. We'll say top and the password is secret. Um, anonymize, this will fake all your data. Um, once you upload it into the visualizations, the data will be just like in the demo version, faked with different random terms. Public, um, this will enable your Slack app to be used by anyone, uh, even if they are not on, the, on your Slack team. Session secret, you can just put any session secret here. We'll just call it top secret. No, I don't want that. Okay, these ones will be just fine like that and hit the deploy for free button and it will be good to go. This is going to take about three to four minutes and yeah, you can follow the log here and it will say that you are finished to go. And I'll come back in a second. Okay, looks like this is ready to go. There's just some final steps we need to do. We can click on view here. You'll get redirected right into your upcoming Slack viz. But since this is not connected to your Slack team yet, we need to do one more thing. And this is, first of all, copy this link that you got in here. and navigate back to the Slack app creation window and for the app credentials we'll need to put in the URL we just copied and we need one more thing which is located in the readme file of the repository it's just this part of the URL that we are going to put into here to the URI Oops, I forgot a K there. And 
this is basically what you save and once this is all set we can go to back to the team chat viz hit add to slack you'll be asked in which team you would like to integrate this since i set this up for the haymakers team that i created we will have to auth authorize the slack app to access the data which is, will, will be visualized and once you've done that you're good to go this is a very small database so it took really uh, just a short time to get this loaded but it might take a little bit of more time to get this loaded for your team you're good to go to explore your team chat viz have fun and yeah visit lab.movil.com for new cool projects from movil lab <laughs>